Bob, mentoring is so much a part of Do It Best Corporation. It's so much a part of your life uh, as you provide mentoring in the local communities where Do It Best is located, but also nationally as you served on the Big Brothers Big Sisters sure. board. So first overall, why is youth mentoring so important? I mean, we see the impact that it has locally uh, with the connection that we have with so many agencies mm -hmm. in the uh, Fort Wayne community area, whether it's Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Study Connection, Junior Achievement, all those opportunities. And the connection that that provides, and you think about all the kind of uh, maybe distracting or somewhat challenging influencers that are out there yeah. in today's environment, uh, having that positive influencer in a, in a young child's uh, early stages uh, just so powerful, so important, uh, and really does provide a uh, an important measure of support for them, uh, that kind of uh, adult, uh, but uh, kind of on an adult and also on a friendship uh, yeah. connection. Uh, so they really have that positive uh, opportunity uh, on a regular basis uh, that they can then kind of model after moving forward. And Bob, that is so well said on why youth mentoring is important to those young people. But youth mentoring is also important specifically to do it best corporation. Why? Well, you think about it in term, in the context of a company. And if you have uh, staff members coming in who are maybe, you know, you know, kind of predisposed to give some of their personal time and mm -hmm. talents and treasure to a cause, and you match that in a work environment that supports that and supports that in a big way, that is just a great combination. Mm -hmm. You know, and it really makes them feel good about the workplace to have a company that's supporting what they want to do out in the community. And it's a, it's a win-win all the way across for the, for the company, uh, for the staff members, and for the folks being mentored. And Do It Best provides employees with time on the clock to yeah. volunteer to mentor. How did that strategy come about, and how does that work for you and your colleagues? Well, it, you know, it kind of predates me at the company. Mm -hmm. It goes back to uh, some of my predecessors who have been uh, keenly involved in actually, you know, starting agencies. You know, one of the Past uh, President Sarah Don Wolf was uh, uh, instrumental in starting Big Brothers Big Sisters in uh, Fort Wayne, served on their national board, chair of their national board, and then Study Connection, which is just focused on, gosh, just an hour a week. I mean, it yeah. doesn't take much more than that. And, and then having the opportunity to bring those folks into the company, having a busload show up on a Wednesday yeah. afternoon and all those little young faces come jumping off the bus. I mean, everybody smiles over that, and I, I can guarantee you, at the end of the day, the, the staff members involved in that are as excited about the opportunity as the kids were. I wanted to ask you to describe that a little bit more. What you see in your employees and what this means for the team chemistry in your office and in your workplace when you provide your employees with this time, again, on the clock to mentor these young people. Yeah, I think it says something about, um, uh, you know, our focus as a company. I, I tell folks, listen. Um, Do It Best Corp is not a, a faith-based organization, mm -hmm. but I sure hope we act that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's about how we give back to the community and how we allow our staff members to do exactly that. And and that connection is real important to our culture, uh, mm -hmm. how we want to uh, behave both within the company and how we want to connect with our community. And it uh, hopefully helps position us as an employer of choice out mm -hmm. there in the community. Mm -hmm. And when you're looking about uh, tapping into talent these days, you want to be at the top of the list of folks people are calling. Bob, you're in a field where your member stores, uh, people who are in your co-op, hire a lot of teenagers. Uh, how does youth mentoring help in terms of workforce development with that could be one of their first jobs in their career? Maybe it becomes their career wonderfully. Uh, but, you know, a lot of these teenagers go into the retail field for their first jobs. How does youth yeah. mentoring help with workforce development? Well, you think about some of those um, young people we were talking about coming into the office for their yeah. little mentoring session, you know, that may be the first business that they've ever yeah. visited, you know, and, and I want that experience to be a positive one so that they they have a knowledge of that. Or if it might be the, uh, the biz town at Junior Achievement, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. how does that connect? And okay, I understand a little bit more about this, and this may be a little interesting. So uh, again, when you're looking for the type of talent that our folks are looking for, that our retailers are looking mm -hmm. for, Establishing that connection early, uh, I think, really does play into that in a very nice way. How important are the so-called soft skills when employers are looking to hire uh, workers, especially our youngest workers? Again, those teenagers entering the labor force for the first time and, you know, in terms of their character yeah. traits and their life skills. And how important is that and how does mentoring maybe help those young people develop in that way? You know, on the, on the soft side of it, uh, those interpersonal skills yeah. and being able to... Um, uh, manage challenges in a workplace environment or uh, interpersonal skills that allow them to communicate in an effective manner uh, with folks uh, and have it at, you know, it's not that they have to be 
the greatest public speaker mm -hmm. ever, but having a measure of self-confidence that allows them to share an opinion, yeah. uh, to uh, voice a concern, mm -hmm. uh, to raise an objection. Uh, you want those types of talents in a business, and anything we can do to encourage that at an early age works well all the way across the board. And Bob, as, as a corporate leader, not just in Indiana and across the country, but you run an international firm, what advice would you have for your colleagues in the business sector who hear about this notion of providing employees paid time off on the clock during the workday, time to go mentor? What advice would you have for them if they're considering this possibility? You know, uh, granted, we're a little bit bigger company. Mm -hmm. Understand it's a little bit easier maybe for us than it is for smaller companies, mm -hmm. but smaller companies can can start in smaller ways. I go back mm -hmm. to my family's um, uh, business, right. retail hardware mm -hmm. stores, and maybe not quite as developed as what we have here uh, at Do It Best Corp today, uh, but certainly that opportunity for our team to be involved in, in meaningful ways, whether it's a, a Relay for Life event uh, mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever it is that allows them in a, in a kind of a team building way mm -hmm. to be involved in something that they can connect to the workforce. It, it's, it's awfully important and it does have a, a real positive impact on both the community, as I said earlier, uh, and the workplace. I think it's, it's one of those things that uh, is a connector mm -hmm. in a lot of different ways. Well, Bob, thank you for all that Do It Best Corp is doing to promote healthy youth development and also for your unique leadership in this area. Happy to be here. Thanks.